how you tight and weak on your hip flexors. If you've been sitting a lot and you need to relieve the tension, strengthen it and lengthen it safely and effectively. Stretching your hip flexors is not enough. Sometimes you just need to strengthen it because you need to stabilize your pelvis by doing deep core work. And that's why I'm here. Hi, my name is Annie. I'm a physical therapist with more than 20 years experience and I'm here to guide you safely and effectively with Pilates Yoga Physical Therapy. And if you're interested to learn more about my channel, please subscribe, ring the bell so you won't miss anything. Like and share this video. Every like you're giving to my channel, you are supporting me. And in this video, we'll be utilizing elastic band to strengthen your hip flexors at the same time lengthen and stretch it with some deep work with pilates and some yoga stretches to open it up at the end of our program so let's begin we're gonna start lying on your back placing the elastic band around your thighs first and slowly warm up your hip flexors so if you've been sitting a lot you need to take a break get up from your chair find the mat and roll down with me with your elastic band exhale as you roll down Okay, my friends, in my channel, I always start with some proper breath work because when you do that, you're engaging your deeper core muscles from your diaphragm all the way down to your pelvic floor. So I recommend you inhale first through your nose, not your mouth, through your nose. Expand your ribcage laterally and zip it up from your lower abs going up to your navel you don't want to bear down to your pelvic floor by pressing it down like this most of my patients with back pain and weak core they exhale squeeze from the top and down and that causes pelvic floor prolapse we don't want that especially for women again inhale expand exhale zip it up breathe in breathe out squeeze last one inhale Exhale, squeeze. Well done. So the elastic band is a great way to strengthen your hips muscles, your deep core. And around your thighs, it's a little bit easier than around your ankles, especially if you're absolute beginner. So we're going to start warming up your hips by doing a gentle marching. As you exhale, lift up your knee to tabletop 90 degree bend, toes pointing away to engage your ankles. Exhale and inhale down. Exhale up. Switch alternating left and right. Inhale down, exhale up. Eight more, my friends. Slow and steady. One breath, one motion. Especially if you're very stiff on your hips, it's nice to warm it up by some sim simple breathing and gentle marching. So you won't strain your back, keeping your spine in neutral position. Six more, my friends. Five. Four more, my friends. Three. Two. And one. Now we're going to progress by simple, after tabletop, simple opening your hip out to the side. I'm starting with my right. Making sure your knee and foot are level. Not pushing out with your foot and not pushing out your knee further. You want to make sure they are parallel together as you open it up. Feel that elastic band pressing against it. So you're going to engage a little bit of your hip abductors and external rotators. Exhale, inhale back center and then exhale down. And then you switch to the other side. Breathe out as you tabletop. This is tabletop because it looks like a table. With your knee bent to 90, exhale, open to the side, keeping your spine in neutral. Try not to twist your spine. Inhale back, exhale down. Nine more. Alternating left and right. Breathe in and breathe out. Feels so good on your hips. Slow and steady. I'm not rushing one breath. One motion. So you want to make sure it's around your knees. You can place your hand on your thighs to remind the mind-body connection. Keeping the elastic band around your thighs. This is a lot of hip work today. Especially if you have chronic back pain and you don't know how to start strengthening your core safely. And usually I do this to my patients, especially for absolute beginners. They were always surprised it's hard to connect keeping the knee and foot together aligned as they open up to the side because of weakness and tightness. Three more, my friends. 
chứ Last one And one The next exercise, we're going to let go of the elastic band. You're going to place the elastic band around your feet. So it's around the arch of my feet. I'm pulling the bands toward me. This is double band. So you want to make sure you can pull it up to stretch your hamstrings. And this is a good way to strengthen the eccentric control of your hip flexors. First, we're going to do some gentle double leg circles. Breathe in and breathe out. 10 times clockwise and 10 times counterclockwise. Seven, slow and steady. I'm not rocking my hips, slow controlled. Still squeezing my core in as I breathe out and as I inhale and expand my rib cage. Five, four, three, two, and one, and then reverse circles. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now I'm letting go of one foot, placing it down to on the mat, pushing it down for support. And I'm stretching my one leg hamstring, pulling it closer to me as I breathe in and breathe out slowly, lowering it down, holding the band keeping it near my chest area as I exhale down. So this is eccentric control for your hip flexors. And then slowly go up as I inhale, exhale down. Eight more, my friends. Breathe in and breathe out as I slow and steady. I'm not doing it fast. You want slow controlled motion. Feels so good on your hamstrings contraction of your hip flexors and hamstrings inhale up exhale down eccentric control as you breathe out zip it up on your from your lower abs to your navel four more my friends three more two and one well done. Now we are switching it to the other side. I'm placing my left foot now on the, on the band and lowering my right foot down, planted on the mat for support as I breathe it. And then breathe out slow and steady going down, keeping the band pulled, pulled towards my chest so I could have that eccentric control. Inhale as I go up. Feel that beautiful stretch from your, your hamstrings. Exhale down. Eight more, my friends. Seven. Beautiful work, my friends. Six. Five. I'm here in your beautiful Destin, Florida for spring break. And it's nice to spend time with my family and still be active. Two more, my friends. Last one. Well done. Now I'm going to place both feet on the band and we're going to do double leg hip eccentric control of your hamstring, of your hamstrings and your hip flexors. So you slowly go down, pull it, control, inhale as you go up with your lower abs engaging. Exhale down, breathe out, zip it up, control. We're not plopping your feet, slow control. Seven more, my friends. Keeping pulling the band for support. You might feel a beautiful stretch on the arch of your feet. Five more, my friends. Four. Three, two, and last one, and one. So after warming up your hip flexors using the elastic band for support, now we can do some beautiful hip flexor strengthening. So place your hands 
behind you, fingers pointing your toes. And we're going to do some simple hip flexor strengthening as you go back and forth. As you inhale, exhale, lift and out of the mat and then back to the center. Keep your core engaged. You can slightly bend your elbows to lean back for those who has difficulty keeping their back straight because of tightness of the hamstrings. Seven more. You might feel it on your quads as well. Six. Whew. Five. It looks so simple, but you can really feel it on your hip flexors because this is deep work that gets really weak and tight. Four. Three. Two. And one, as high as you can to go up. If you can't lift it up like a rainbow, you can just slide it side to side for absolute beginners. Now let's switch to the other side. And you might find one side a little bit easier. And you might be surprised yourself why that side is easier. That could be this easy, stronger side so you know how to fix your problem. So do another set on your weaker side. Exhale, don't forget your breath work. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. And this is for advanced level. Slightly bend, lean on your elbows for absolute beginners, or you can keep it straight. And you're going to lift up and out to the side. If this is too challenging, as I said, just open to the side or lean on your elbow so it's a little bit easier for those with tight hamstrings. So I want to challenge myself. I'm slightly leaning on my elbows but not touching the ground. As I inhale, exhale, lift. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Five, four, three, two, last one, and one. We are cooling down now from some simple hip flexor opening. Now we can stretch your hip flexors. We'll start kneeling position. We're going to start on your right hip flexor. So Place your left foot forward, lean forward, open that right hip flexors, and you can twist for a beautiful stretch, deeper stretch as you turn away. So I'm turning towards the left to open my right hip flexors, and then I'm going to forward fold, extending my left knee for a hamstring stretch, and forward fold. And then back to deep core kneeling, leaning forward to lunge and twist. I'm placing my right hand and arm opposite side to my left side and twisting for a deep stretch. And then forward fold, All dynamic stretch and cool down. Last set. Well done, now let's switch to the other side. Now I'm gonna target my left hip, flexors, my right knee. I'm leaning towards my right side. And then I'm placing my left arm and elbow towards my right thigh and twist. And then extend my right leg and forward fold. And then bend and twist. Last set. And twist. Well done. Now I'm going to do some side to side hip opening. I'm pressing my knee out to the side. <laughs> And I'm going to slowly shift my body weight towards the right and opening my hip groin area that's connected to my lovely hip flexors. So I'm leaning towards my right, opening my left, back to kneeling and twist and extend. Bend and lean down, open that side. Alternating left and right and then forward fold for a deeper stretch all the way down to your hamstrings and glutes. Back to kneeling like a frog stretch. Open and stretch. Four more. Feels so good to cool down. After that beautiful Pilates, 
and some physical therapy. Three more, my friends. Beautiful work. You guys did amazing today. If you need my help and guidance, I have my back master class. I closed the cart already, but you can rejoin for my upcoming reopening. Mark on your calendar for first come, first serve basis for anyone who needed my help and guidance for the next class registration. And if you need my help to get better on your strong, on your core strength, I'm here to guide you. I'm hoping you enjoyed my simple hip flexor strengthening and hamstring lengthening core contraction between the two with a beautiful cool down. As I said, click the link on my bio, write your name and email address for the early bird wait list for first come first serve basis for the upcoming next registration for a small intimate class where I guide you with my weekly Zoom call so you can reach your functional, better, stronger core, regain life without back pain to have a stronger core and improve overall posture. If you have time today, learn more about my core back immersion. Episode 1 is here and episode 2, you can access the free 6 part video series right now to jumpstart your core strength. Until my next video training, always remember, be safe, be well, and healthy you. Bye!